uh, you know, during this time, Marvel was kind of in, in a dark place when, you, you know, they had gone with Joe Quesada. Right. Um, and so when Joe came in, um, you know, he kind of was like, hey, listen, he was kind of in the same position that Fabian was in maybe when, when you kind of started to claim, where he was like, I don't know if I'm going to be around for six months. What do you think he did that turned Marvel around? Or like, what do you think that the, the whole team kind of at Marvel did that kind of turned Marvel from being like, okay, we might go out of, out of business in six months to well, bring it back into... Uh, you know, I, I think that jo Joe's attitude was actually different. I, I don't think Joe ever thought that he wouldn't be there in six months. I, I think that I think that Joe came in and, and he said... Um, we're gonna we're gonna change course on this ship and make a difference and bring in the people that we need and we're gonna survive and thrive. Um, I think that was always his attitude and uh, I don't think he ever doubted that. And and if and if he did, um, it didn't trickle down to uh, the staff or, or the creators. Um, but it was a difficult time because it, it very. It was a difficult time for some people uh, at Marvel because um, there was still, I guess, a, a good portion of editorial and creators that were legacy uh, people that had been around for a long time and had worked under the Jim Shooter and Tom DeFalco and Bob Harris eras, and um, and this was this was a big switch, yeah. uh, and, and not everyone was able to adapt to that um, on both the creative end and on the staff end. Um, so that was, that was there was a few period a few years of, of, of transition there um, that were um, difficult for some and, and you know we didn't really know where we were headed um, but it, the company started really turning itself around um, um, you know with the Marvel Knights attitude shifting towards the books um, and the X Men movie coming out, um, and then you know the, the the promise of some other you know Spider Man movie coming out, um, you know how we confronted nine eleven and turned that into a very positive thing for the company and to the comics community. Um, all those things together kind of helped propel us in, in a good direction, um, and it was a very good time for me professionally. Um, you know, not too long into my return to Marvel, or I um, transitioned from being the satellite X Men editor to the um, primary, you know, main X Men group editor, um, and then was able to work with Grant Morrison and Joss Whedon. Uh, got to work with Chris Claremont, my hero. That's amazing. That's yeah. like that's a dream come true. With working with Claremont and yeah. you know, these legends and and doing all these new legendary runs because I know Grant Morrison's run on X Men was legendary as well. And so it's it's so cool that you were there and able to propel the next generation of X Men fans forward, just like you were propelled and kind of brought into comics that way. 